Hello everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we are going to talk about why your alternator is overcharging, the symptoms, and how to fix it. Alternator overcharging occurs when the alternator produces higher voltage exceeding the standard range of 13.5 to 14.4 volts. Here are the symptoms. Flickering lights. Overly flickering or bright lights, which may finally burn out, can indicate an overcharging alternator. Battery warning light on the dashboard. This may signal that the alternator is not supplying the required voltage to charge the car battery. In addition, the check engine light may turn on indicating a problem with the battery or alternator. If you own a multimeter and know how to use it, measure the battery's voltage. If it reads above 14.7 to 15 volts as the engine runs, the alternator may be overcharging. Reduced bulb lifespan. Inconsistent or high voltage can shorten the lifespan of taillights or headlights. Blown fuse and relay. Excess voltage due to an overcharging alternator could result in a fuse blowing in the protected circuit. Bulging battery. A bulging battery indicates prolonged overcharging, which causes the electrolyte to boil and leads to expansion. In some cases, this can also result in leakage on the battery's surface. Strange smells. The alternator overheats due to overcharging, resulting in a burning smell from the engine compartment. Here's what causes it and how to fix it. Faulty voltage regulator. A voltage regulator prevents the alternator from generating excessive voltage. When faulty, it results in the alternator overcharging. It is the main cause of alternator overcharging. To fix this issue, replace your voltage regulator. First, disconnect the negative black cable from the battery for safety. The voltage regulator is typically found on the alternator as a small box, though it may be separate if your car is older. Use proper mechanical tools to remove the screws or bolts to secure it. Ensure the new regulator is compatible with your vehicle, then align it to the holes and fasten it with the screws or bolts. Finally, reconnect the negative battery cable. Short alternator circuit. Short circuits interrupt the normal flow of electric current resulting in inconsistent voltage output. This may damage your car's computer systems and the battery may overcharge due to short circuiting in certain alternator parts. To fix this issue, inspect the alternator for any visual signs of damage, use a multimeter to measure its voltage output, and confirm if a short circuit is present. If present, replace the alternator. The first step is disconnecting the negative cable. Secure the alternator by removing the bolts, disconnect the wires connected to the alternator, noting their positions for reattachment. Remove the old alternator, place the new alternator in the same orientation, and secure it with the bolts removed earlier. Reconnect the wires, tighten the bolts, and reconnect the black cable. In addition, seek professional mechanic services and always refer to your repair manual for detailed instructions and precautions. Malfunctioning Engine Control Module, ECM the ECM controls the alternator and other components of the vehicle's electrical system. If your vehicle's ECM is faulty, it sends false signals to the alternator, leading to overcharging. Diagnose and address this problem as follows. Begin with a visual inspection to check for signs of overheating, moisture damage, or a blown circuit board, as these are common causes of ECM failure. Next, use a diagnostic code reader to connect to the ECM. If the tool cannot communicate with the module, it may indicate a problem. If communication is successful, retrieve and analyze all stored error codes, focusing on those related to the engine or sensors. Additionally, ensure the car battery is in good condition, as the ECM relies on a stable voltage supply to operate correctly. A weak or faulty battery can cause erratic ECM behavior. If the ECM needs replacement, Refer to your vehicle's owner's manual or a repair guide to understand the process. Replacing an ECM on older vehicles is often straightforward, but for those manufactured after 1996, programming the new module with specialized tools is usually necessary. Professional assistance is recommended for such cases. A failing ECM can impact other vehicle systems such as ABS brakes, air conditioning, power locks, windows, airbags, and infotainment. So thorough diagnostics are essential. Checking the ECM's condition is particularly important when buying a used car. Wiring issues. The connection between the battery and alternator is vital for the charging system's proper operation. Loose or corroded connections cause resistance, 
leading to voltage fluctuations. The alternator produces higher voltage due to these fluctuations resulting in overcharging. To resolve this problem, begin by disconnecting the battery and examining all wires and connectors for signs of corrosion, fraying or damage. Use a wire brush to clean corroded terminals and connectors thoroughly and apply dielectric grease to prevent future corrosion. Replace any damaged or worn out wires with appropriate gauge replacements. Finally, ensure all connections are properly tightened and securely seated before reconnecting the battery. Thanks for watching.